beach day. Happy beach day. We made it. We brought our wagon, our lawn chairs, and we are going to lay out finally. We live at the beach and how often do we get here? Not that often, but today's the day. So here we go. We're laying right by my favorite house. And the skies are blue, it's gorgeous. Hope you're all doing good. See you after we get a little tan. We have the beach all to ourselves. There's no one out here really. There's just maybe a handful of people out here. So we're gonna lay out in the sun. We have this, we're right behind that house and they have the most beautiful soothing waterfall going. So I'm not gonna listen to my headphones. I'm just gonna relax. It's very bright. I can't even open my eyes. <laughs> There's some fish for sale.
baby. Hi, little puppy. I heard you cry.
such a beautiful day. I don't know if you can hear the beautiful ocean behind us. We're at uh, Wat Khao Tao in Khao Tao, the little town. It's out past Hua Hin. I think it's considered Hua Hin, isn't it? Or Pachok Kiri Khan. Yeah. yeah. And we're just visiting with the monks and hanging out with the Buddhas. Taking a little break here, sitting in this beautiful little area where the Buddha is. Takes about 20 minutes from our house to get out here. And we're just having a beautiful day. Hope you're all doing good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I filmed a lot of it with no sound. There's a monks over in the other area back behind us giving blessings to people coming. We just came a long way up. A lot of the uh, trail was not paved, so it was kind of dangerous, but we made it up to the Big Buddha. I'll show you the view. We think that they do a meditation underneath because there's a whole area in underneath the Buddha. And they do, they have um, something called Willpower Institute. They're in Bangkok, Chiang Mai, and they have um, free meditation classes for people that want to learn how to meditate. It's called Willpower Institute. Willpower is one word. I actually wanted to take part of it in it. They have online meditation too, but they're not offering that right now. They sent me a message through line and said that they'll be doing that at some point. Look at the view from up here. We came to the very top and here's the view. We live down way past that mountain down there. We used to have a tram. Oh, wow. There's the Buddha. Oh, hello. Welcoming, welcoming us in. There's a nice little place to sit where it's nice and cool. You could sit and meditate here if you wanted. give you guys a little update on how Shrek is doing although we changed his name to Mango he just kind of reminded us more of a a little mango because he's just a little puffball and his fur is just so soft and comforting he has so many little similarities of Bindi the way he hides his little bones we give him Remember how Bindi used to hide her little bone? What would she do, honey? So she would take it and kind of be very sneaky and look at Fiona and look to see where she was and then she'd go put it somewhere, tuck it away, <gasps> like behind the bed. And Mango does the same thing. <laughs> he does the same thing. We almost feel like we have Bindi back with us. It's just an incredible feeling. We're, we're, it's just, it's very heartwarming for us but we're, we're animal lovers you know we'll, we'll never change so her, his name is mango now <laughs> we keep catching ourselves saying shrek and then i'll say to ray shrek doesn't live here anymore and then i'll say shrek and then ray will say honey his name's mango <laughs> yeah you don't even realize you're saying it mm -hmm. and we've only had him with a month yeah, we said his name so many times during the training. Mm -hmm. that it's, when he's acting naughty, we always just... <laughs> Shrek! I mean, Mango! <laughs> yeah. So we took a bolt down here, and it was 100 baht. Quite a ways down from where we live, but a nice drive. Yeah. And we're the only ones up here at this beautiful viewpoint. So we're enjoying this underneath this little man-made 
It's like a little cave. Stalactite cave at the foot of the Buddha. <laughs> Don't want to interrupt that. Mm -mm. <laughs> Other than that, we went and got our tattoos done. We wanted to go back to Tani and get some tattoos updated. She had to go back over my hands and she redid my lotus flower on my back. I'm going to insert some pictures here. of that and of my ankle. She redid my iris for me. Incredible. We paid um, $90 for all the tattoos and show your Buddha hands. Ray got Buddha, Buddha eyes on his thumbs. They're still healing and there's some blue tint left. Mm -hmm. They're kind of cool. But I feel like I want to get this plastic off the back of my neck because it's with, between the sweat and everything is just, uh, it's too much. She told me that I can't exercise for three days and I thought I was gonna start crying right on the spot. She said, you can do walking, but no, nothing real, you know, vigorous. And I know that, I should have known that, but you know, when you have a jets, jetsaholic, jetaholic, <laughs> jetsaholic. I just know our teachers are wondering where we're at yesterday and today, we'll go on Sunday. Sunday is D, our teacher's last day. He's moving to Phuket that day, so we're gonna have a little surprise for him. Anyway, that's about the update. I can't think of anything else. Man goes all better with his cough. He's doing so good. Completely potty trained now. Eating good, sleeping good. Fiona and him are completely bonded now. They're inseparable. They love to play. It's just so much fun. And our place is good. We're thinking about maybe getting a different couch or some comfortable chairs because the couch that Odd gave us is really nice and everything, but it's just not comfortable and it's hard to get up because it sits so low down. And you know, whatever we get, we can take with us. We actually got a new bathroom mirror that lights up because the lighting in the bathroom wasn't so hot. So we got that at Home Pro. So we that Ray put that on. It's really nice. We can take that with us too. But we're just having a nice relaxed day. Um, that's about it. So thank you for watching the video. Um, thank you to our new subscribers. We told the women that work at the place we get our massages that we did a video and they were so excited. They said that they were gonna subscribe and they were so happy and they thanked us so much. And they gave us a punch card. So if you get 10 massages, you get one free. We didn't know that, so they included two on it. And we pretty much go every Wednesday and do that. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. it's so relaxing. I might go for a time massage at some point, but I don't know, lying on my stomachs and getting all my clothes off in the heat sometimes just does, isn't very appealing to me. It's much easier to just slip off my shoes. But um, it's all good. All right, so... We'll walk down. I'll do some more filming on the way down. You guys can see the trail on the way down and get home to the little guys and see how they're doing and maybe have some dinner. We um, had a little powwow with the nun and the head monk downstairs in the museum. He sat down on the floor and he showed us all these little stone Ganeshas and we were able to purchase some. He actually went in. Where did he go to get them, honey? He went into another room that was locked up. Yeah, it was a locked a door. He pulled out, pulled out all these little bags, like goodie bags, and he untied them. And I thought, wow, what's that? And he had us sit down with him. I got some video of that earlier, which you saw. Um, we got two, three, three little Ganeshas, didn't we? Yeah, the and purple, purple and, then and the two amethyst. That can go in the... Yeah, they're like a fuchsite, a ruby fuchsite. We might put the little tiny ones in some tuck roots and make um, bracelets with them. You can put them into a, like a cylinder, and then they have caps, 
and then you have them beaded onto a bracelet. They're really special. Yeah. He showed us some other um, stones in there that were, he said, how, ma how many years old? The elephant? 2,000 or something. 2,000, and I said, 500 baht? And he started laughing. <laughs> and he gave us each a ring. Oh yeah. You have your ring? He gave ring. us each a tiger's eye ring. And then he, this great got this one. This is a tiger's a eye. Carving. It's a that carved, carve. carved tiger's eye. It's pretty. And then, then the bottom, they had a little carving under yeah. there. Yeah, and then I got this one just downstairs from the monk and the woman that was in there. Because I have actually never seen an amulet wrapped like this with beads. So one of the previous kings, Rama IV, I believe it was, or the, uh, the, fifth. the fifth king. The fifth, fifth king? The fifth. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to Google it. I'm sorry. And then this is... Well, four. Four. Oh, we'll, we'll, right. we'll let you know. Four. Yeah, I'll insert it. And the front is the monk. The I'll put his name also. But the way it was done, um, if you'll hold this for a minute, I'll, like that. Yeah. Down this way. There you go. It has... Um, it's adjustable... And the monk did a little blessing and he placed it around my neck, which was, well, he didn't place it around my neck. He kind of handed it because they're not allowed to do that. But it's just really cool. I've never seen one done like this before. And I, like I was telling Ray, I always worry when we leave the house like at 11 or so or 12, because I always feel like we're going to miss out on seeing the monks or stuff and we always have the best experience i mean the little nun she came she gave us water and some bananas to eat and i don't know how she knew i was feeling so nauseous right before she offered that to us because it's so hot and i have the long sleeve on to be respectful and i have on my elephant pants which are you know long you have to cover your knees and your shoulders when you go to these places and I thought, oh my gosh, I feel so sick right now. And all of a sudden she just presents us with this cold water and bananas. And I'm like, thank you so much. I needed that right then. That was perfect. I, it was, she was so cute. You'll see, you saw her in the earlier part of the video too, which I filmed. So anyway, I'll stop chatting. We'll go down and we'll catch up with you later. And I wanted to get this, I'll get this video up. I wanted to surprise Tan because um, Tan Tanny, our massage, I mean, our <laughs> tattoo girl told us to come here. She said, you have to come to this temple. You will love it so much. And so Ray said, we'll go and we'll surprise you. We'll do a video. We didn't plan on coming the very next day, but since I can't go to the gym, what else? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. So we did it. All right. We'll film on our way down. is underneath the big Buddha statue. I think they hold meditation classes in here. I'm not sure. I mean, this could actually be somebody's home under here. It's nice and cool, you wouldn't need any AC. This is the path coming up here. I'm sure there's a different way. We just went the... No, this is the only way. Um, hang on. My umbrella's stuck. Here, do you have it, love? Will you shut it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's... 
really narrow. You see that path? Gotta watch every step you take through here. You definitely wouldn't want to come up here at night. No, you, no lighting and you, yeah. You could even mistake some of these little things for snakes. <laughs> here we go. We're back on track now. Okay. You can hear the ocean from here. Come up here, be prepared and wear good shoes. I wore, wore my Birkenstocks, which is better than the shoes I was gonna wear. I probably wouldn't have been able to come up here if I would have put the other ones on. And it's steep and they're, the stairs are all different sizes. Yeah, if you have a problem with stairs, you might wanna just stay down at the watt down below. Here's the beach. We're almost down at the bottom now. Good, how are you? Wow, there's another little hidden treasure area. That's sweet. Oh. Octagon Pavilion. Oh, the breeze is beautiful up here. Here's where you can have a tile made in your memory. Your family can have a tile made in your memory when you pass away. And who wouldn't want to be up here, huh? That's pretty beautiful. Another viewpoint. Beautiful spot to come chill out if you're in Hua Hin. They say this beach is very quiet. Not private. Very private, yeah. It is very private. Look, there's no one there. There's nobody out here. Uh-uh. Just a fisherman. Looks like they're building a little fence railing along the end here. Water's right there. I'm doing a lot of work at this spot. It ends right up here.
these are little places I guess that the monks live. Oh. And then what did you th think that it was for maybe what? Oh. Silent? Silent retreats. Yeah, but how would you get up and down? Uh, maybe you have to do some fasting. <laughs> That's probably the way they do it too, because when you're on a silent retreat, I mean, fasting and silent retreats go hand in hand. Yeah, you're not allowed to make chewing sounds. Maybe. <laughs> Liquids only. This is very treacherous right here. This little stairway. There's a toilet area, which I won't show you because it's not anything to see, but here's a, a little monk house. Yeah, a little monk house. Like, I wouldn't mind living here if they had a little shop to buy some essentials close by, but it's, it's really cute. And look at the view. I mean, it overlooks the ocean here. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, yeah, and they're all their screens. Oh, those are the clothesline. Mm -hmm. Clothesline, yeah. He's got a little porch there with a the chair. And that's the stairway up right there. You can come out here and sit down in the morning and have a little bit of coffee and do your morning meditation out here. Look at this, isn't this beautiful? Look, see that? And there's his home, right there. And here's his view, right here. I can't see it getting much better than that if you're a monk. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Yeah, we're the only ones up here, too. Oh, wow. Oh, the breeze is heavenly. Just heavenly. Be careful of that. You don't want to step in there at night. Yeah, here's the end where they're building the... What a great day we had. Yeah, we're gonna sit here for a little bit and enjoy this. Okay, we're gonna end this video. Hope you enjoyed our little visit to Wat Khao Tao. We had a beautiful day and basically had the whole place to ourselves. There was just a couple other people we saw coming in and it's Friday. Highly recommend you guys come out here if you're in the area. I think you would love it. All right, have a beautiful day. Bye. See ya.